All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you uh, a couple of examples of using the chip model to make the long division process uh, a visual experience. And what that does is it's gonna help students understand why the long division algorithm works the way it does. And we wanna do something that's a little bit more sophisticated than just giving students some sort of mnemonic like, uh, mother, daughter, sister, brother, whatever the McDonald's sells something. You know, the, the mnemonics for division, we don't want that. We just wanna show students why division works the way it does because it makes sense. We don't need a mnemonic for it to make sense. So uh, we're gonna start with, let's say we're gonna do 579 divided by four, all right? And so there's two types of division. One's called partitive, one's called quotative, and uh, we're going to be using the partitive definition of division, meaning we're going to take that 578 dots, 579 dots, and we're going to separate it into four parts. That's why we're going to be using the partitive definition of division. And so we've got our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And the first thing I need to do is model 579. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's my 579 that I'm going to model. And oh, let's do it in orange. And I'm gonna kind of separate that. There you go. And now down below, down here is where I need to create the buckets, so to speak, the four buckets that we're gonna sort the 579 dots into. Uh, so let's use uh, black and I need four buckets. How do I need, know I need four buckets? Because I'm dividing by four. So there are my four buckets, so to speak. One bucket, two buckets, three buckets, and four buckets, all right? So we need to sort all the hundreds into the buckets, all the tens into the buckets, and all the ones into the buckets. And we're gonna be using the exchange rate of one big gives me 10 littles at any given time, right? The exchange rate, 10 littles equals one big, or one big equals 10 littles. So let's start sorting things out. So as I look at the hundreds column, I've got five dots and four buckets. And so what that says, and I'll, let's do it in green. That means each bucket gets one dot, cross off, cross off, cross off, cross off. And I have 100 left over. I have one big left over, which can be exchanged for 10 littles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that 100 is no longer there because it got exchanged for 10 littles. All right, so now I've got, I don't know how many, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 17 tens and I have four buckets. So I clearly have enough tens to pass them out into the, into the buckets. Now, some students, we're gonna do one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's getting kind of crowded. And then let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Kind of getting crowded. And it looks like I have five dots left and I have four buckets so I can do one more in each bucket, one, two, three, four, and I can cross off, one, two, three, four, and look at that, I'll do it in red. We have one 10 left over, which can be exchanged for 10 littles. One big gives me 10 littles. Now in this case, one 10 gives me 10 ones, all right? So I can cross that off because he's no longer there. I'm gonna return to my green pen. So now I have a whole ton of ones 
and these four buckets. And I don't know, let's see, I have 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So eventually, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. I can see that each bucket is gonna receive four ones, four dots. That gives me 16, so I'm gonna cross off 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And it looks like I have a remainder of three. So I can see my answer. My answer is 144 with a remainder of three. Now, uh, let's see, that was five minutes, that's six minutes. Let's see if we could do one more quickie, real quick. So let's do, um, I don't know, let's do uh, 137 divided by four, all right? So, whoa, I need to shrink that down because that is way too big. All right, there you go, 137 divided by four. So again, I'm gonna model my number 137. So we're gonna do that with, oh, that size. 137, so there's my 137. And I need to create, let's make this just a little bit smaller here. I need to create four buckets. There's my four buckets. Now, automatically, I already see I don't have enough hundreds to pass out the um, hundreds into the buckets, so already I need to do some exchanging, don't I? So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna exchange it for 10 littles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I got nothing right there because I exchanged it for 10 tens. And so now I can say one, two, three, four, cross off, cross off, cross off, cross off. One, two, three, four, cross off, cross off, cross off, cross off. And it looks like I can do one more. One, two, three, four, cross off, cross off, cross off, cross off, and I have one left over, which I can exchange for 10 littles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I'm gonna do a little bit of quick counting here. I got 10 greens, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So just to speed it, the process on a little bit. I have 17 dots. So each bucket is gonna get four dots, which uses up 16 of my dots. With a remainder of one. So what's our answer? Our answer is zero in the hundreds, so we don't even need it three tens, four ones, with a remainder of one. And that, you know, let's see, right there. And that's how you use the chip model to make the long division process um, make sense. Now, all I've done right here is that pictorial representation. Eventually, what you're gonna need to do is connect the dots with the standard algorithm, you're gonna do it step by step, but I'm gonna save that for another video if you're interested.